We're given that after each washing, 1% of the dye in blue jeans is washed out. We're asked to find how much of the original dye remains after 10 washings. We can use the geometric sequence to solve this problem. The first term, A1, we'll call 1, so A1 equals 1. If a wash removes 1% of the dye, that means 99% of the dye will remain in the jeans. So the second term, A2, will be 99% of term A1, which is 99% of 1, or 0.99. We multiply term A1 by 0.99 to get term A2. Therefore, you can see that the common ratio R equals 0.99. We'll make a note that A1 equals 1, and R equals 0.99. Term A1, or 1, gives us the amount of dye in the genes before they are washed, or with zero washings. So term 2 would give us the fraction of the dye remaining after one washing. Therefore, term A11 would give us the fraction of the dye remaining after 10 washings. This means we need to find the value of term A11. So we know A1 and R and we want to find the value of term A11. So we'll set n equals to 11. Here is the equation for the nth term of a geometric sequence. Because n equals 11, we'll replace both ends in the formula by 11. A1 equals 1, and the exponent 11 minus 1 equals 10. The value of r is 0.99. So we have 0.99 to the power of 10 which works out to the decimal fraction 0 0.904. Converting the decimal 0 0.904 to a percent, we get 90.4%. So we can state that after 10 washings, 90.4% of the dye remains in the genes.